ladies and jets. So in this video I'm going to cover contour and contour placement. They are, let's see, there are six different placements. For me, I have kind of a weird one. So I'm in between a heart face shape and a round face shape. Um, so I do mine kind of an in-betweener. A lot of the times it's just playing around with the contour and seeing what best fits you. Um, I will post a picture of the different placements right now. Okay, so um, I'm going to go ahead and get all primed up and put foundation on real quick. I will probably speed this part up so you're not having to wait. cream from Mary Kay. I am going to go ahead and start in with the contour. So like I was saying earlier, there is six different contour placements depending on your face shape. Um, and then after you find out your face shape and the placement, after that really it is all just just playing around with it and finding what looks good on you and what you're comfortable with. Um, I do mine pretty much how the placement is, but with a round face slash heart, it, they're a little different anyway, and then I kind of just combine the both. So, um, I'll go ahead. This is our contour here. Um, now I kind of have the, the placement here, so I'm kind of looking over it real quick. Um, okay, so for the round face, they say to go, you want to start at the point here of your lips, and you go toward the middle of your ear. So you're going to have this line here on both sides. And then you're going to take the, that line from here and you're going to go all the way up until right the middle of your forehead. So I'm going to start here and work my way around. Like that. So this is going to slim your face down in through here and this will help with your forehead not being so large. And then we're going to go in, okay so with the round face they say to put it right here. I'm going to put it right underneath my lip here so that it's kind of like getting um, a little bigger lip without having to go do some crazy like lip injections or anything. So I put it right here. 
Now if you look at the heart face shape, it'll tell you to put it at the bottom. Um, I don't like it because I kind of like how my jawline is, how it comes, and I don't want to take away from it. Like I don't want this just being like one straight line. I like it how it points down. So I put it right here. And then with my nose, I do put contour right here. To kind of slim it down a little bit because I feel like I have a big nose. And after this, all you're going to do is blend it. So lots of padding. So contour has a few different reasons on why we use it. So not only does it bring out your face shape and slim your face down, but after putting on foundation, you want to add some color back into your face. So that's why we do that. So I will probably speed this part up because it does take a minute to get this all blended out. So. Okay, so I got that well blended in. So as you can tell, my cheeks right here aren't as bulgy because every time I smile, I always feel like that's what people focus on in my face. So they're not as bad anymore. My face looks a little slimmer. My lip looks a little bigger. Nose doesn't look like it's trying to explode. Um, <laughs> so there's that. Um, it's going to look funny until you get some highlighter on there, which I will do a tutorial on that as well. Um, so, um, let's see, I'll probably put that picture up on it again now. Okay, so if you just want to pause it on that and then kind of either take a screenshot or you know, it's something to have on hand when you go put contour on, you can do that. Um, I simply just went and got that off of Google, to be honest. Um, but yeah, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead, finish out my look, and I will show you guys the finished look here. So I will finish up and speed up right now.
look so as you can tell the highlighter definitely made a difference in highlighting the spots contour has trimmed and slimmed my face down I, I definitely have more of a line here than I had before um, now throughout the makeup look I tried to kind of show you guys some of the products I was using so if you have any questions about that um, go ahead and get a hold of me or comment below and I'll get a hold of you um, now the lipstick that I put on is a pH level lipstick so what that kinda means is just you know the color that comes out of it is actually based on your pH level um, I kind of went with more of a purple color today. What will happen is I will actually take this off and it'll be a more subtitle pink. More of a low grade pink. It's not going to stand out as much as it is right now. Um, but you can obviously leave it on if you like that. Um, but yeah, so... I really hope you guys liked the tutorial, um, hopefully this helps with anybody who is having trouble with the contour, um, and stuff, so, um, don't forget that my link to my website is down below, and so is my Facebook group, I do go live on there about once or twice a week, and I have uh, discounts and sales all the time on these products so make sure you subscribe to the channel for more tips and tricks and I will see you guys later so peace out love y'all bye